unemployment rate is given by number of unemployed persons over the size of the labor force, correct? Okay. So labor force, if you check your notes, they will say those who are willing and able to work. Regardless of whether they have a job, all right, they are the ones who are willing and able to work. What about unemployed? Willing and able but without a job. So in question four's answer, you see this term called discouraged workers. Some workers are discouraged. Who are discouraged workers? Discouraged workers are those who have probably sent in a hundred resumes then got zero phone calls back. So they tried applying to many jobs, no one called them. So they are so discouraged, they are not uh, uh, seeking a job now. In other words, they are still able to work, they are not willing. Okay? So they are just sitting on the couch, very discouraged. And what happens if economic prospects improve? Like, uh, you know, in the US, uh, Donald Trump wins uh, the next four years. Oh, that's how the US people feel them optimistic. Okay, maybe I can now get a job. And these discouraged workers get off the couch and start writing resumes. Okay? Can follow? As they are writing and sending out resumes, they are still without work. They are still unemployed. Correct? So you imagine this situation. Let's say unemployment rate was 20 over 100. Then after the US election, five discouraged workers decide to go back to look for work. So you add five to the numerator, you add five to the denominator. Because now they are willing to work. They haven't found work, so they qualify as part of the numerator. Prior to this, they were not willing to work, so you take them out from the labor force. Of course, you take them out from the subset here. Can see mm. huh? So, 25 over 105, you can try to work this out. It will be greater than 20%. Why? 5 is a bigger proportion of the numerator. Okay. So what happened? Unemployment rate went up. Is it a bad thing? It's not. Because it shows improving economic prospects in the country. And that is what the answer to question 4 is trying to explain. If your unemployment went up because of the discouraged workers returning to seek work, and mathematically, it will cause unemployment rate to go up. But it's not a bad thing. I put this in because in US, they were talking about the same issue. Imagine a case study. Oh, the finance minister explained that there's no need to be concerned about rising unemployment. Then they give you two marks. Explain why. You can say, I didn't learn this, but this is the definition of labor force. An unemployed. I can't say no in the syllabus. Huh? You want to make the question hard, this is what you can do. Okay? Or we catch it first. Huh? Alright, questions? Okay. Yes. Like the labor force, you don't need to if you are in the labor force, huh? the labor force is willing and able to work. Some of them are employed. Yeah. Or some of them are unemployed, some of them are employed. Willing and able to work, that's your labor force. Willing and able to work, and they have found a job, employed. Willing and able to work, but they are without a job, unemployed. Sitting on the couch because 